though France is planning to make EVs more affordable. Why Stellantis is continuing its partnership with the National Business League. And output continues to sink for Toyota. Good morning, I'm Kristen Strakulaitis. Welcome to First Shift. More on those stories in a moment, but first, Tesla is going to court in Louisiana, challenging the state's refusal to allow the company to sell vehicles directly to consumers. It's part of the company's battle to reverse direct sales bans in some states. In those states, folks who want a Tesla have to travel to another state to buy one. Tesla says Louisiana has violated state and federal antitrust laws. In 2016, Tesla sued Michigan for the same reason. Under a settlement, Tesla owners in Michigan can have their cars serviced in the state through a subsidiary. An online auction company is accusing several players in the physical auction sector of conspiracy. ACV Auctions filed an antitrust suit against some auction giants. Those include Mannheim and Odessa. Some smaller wholesalers are also named in the suit. ACV says they all tried to prevent it from gaining necessary access to auto IMS. That's a remarketing platform widely used in the industry. ACV also named the National Auto Auction Association as a defendant in the suit. The NAAA declined comment to Automotive News. Output continues to sink for Toyota. It's the fourth straight month. The reason, continued semiconductor and supply chain slowdowns caused by COVID lockdowns in China. Output fell 8.6% in July. Production volume was below its target of about 800,000 units, with domestic production falling 28%. Sales also dropped more than 7%. The slump has lasted for almost a year. In an effort to make EVs more affordable, France is planning to lease them for $100 a month. It's all part of the French president's campaign pledge to make them more affordable. The leasing program will be for low-income households. It is being put in place to counter criticism that even with subsidies, EVs are too expensive for many people. France's budget minister says the cost is less than what most people spend on gasoline. Stellantis is continuing its partnership with the National Business League to choose 15 companies for the National Black Supplier Development Program. This after the pilot class of companies finished their work in February. The companies will get training on how to refine and grow their businesses. Previous participants received guidance on several topics like increasing capacity, creating a brand, and managing finance. Corporate partners including Ford, GM, Toyota, Magna, and Lear have joined the program to lend their expertise. The new batch of companies will be introduced next week. Thanks for watching. Be sure to go to autonews.com for more news and don't forget to follow us on Twitter at first underscore shift. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.